serve currently as the vice chairman. I, I served as, uh, on the uh, chamber board for six years previous to uh, me coming up on the Lowndes County School Board. And proud of my service on the chamber board. In fact, I ended it as vice president of community affairs. I have a lot of friends. Oh, I still have a lot of friends at the chamber uh, on the board and members. I'm still a member of the chamber. So I come to you tonight. I feel like I'm, I'm one of them. I can tell you with this stuff, this theory, this idea, which really started percolating several years ago, even before I, uh, just as I had, I had one year that overlapped, and I know uh, we were having discussions at that time about this whole idea on consolidation. Uh, the whole idea was that uh, would it, could it help us with economic development in our community? At the same time, could we increase student achievement? And could we save the taxpayers money? Well, I'm here to tell you tonight that I was one of the board members, and I know there's board members on both sides of, this, of the city and the county, that if that theory and if those ideas would have held up after research and study, I would be supporting this idea. I am a Lyons graduate. I went to Hay Hire Elementary. I went to Hay Hire Junior High School. I went to Lyons. I had cousins. I'm the, I'm the country cousins. <laughs> I had city cousins. I had eight nieces and nephews, four in the city, four in the county. I have three kids of my own that are in the county system. I promise you, if I thought after our study and research that this would improve student achievement, because we could even say, Dr. Smith, if it improves student achievement, maybe it'd be worth a little more local revenue. I think we've talked about that. But that's not what we found. Now, I graduated. Philip is probably one of the, most, the smartest guys we have on the school board. You're not talking to one of the smartest guys on the school board now. He's our engineer, our Georgia Tech graduate. I graduated from the United States Military, Military Academy at West Point. So I do take my honor seriously. So when I'm telling you this, I believe it with all my heart. I have seen it with these eyes, the research and study that we've done. That student achievement cannot be gained in our systems consolidated. It's not, the proof is not there. It will increase taxes, our property taxes. Now let's put those two, if you'll take me for a minute and just believe me, I'm in the Army, they taught us keep it simple, stupid. It was the KISS philosophy. I believe in that. I'm going to try to stay real simple here. If you believe what I'm saying, that the student achievement gains are not going to be found, it's going to increase local property taxes significantly, then how in the world will we ever help in economic development? We will not. Not only is it hard to bring in businesses when you go from one of the, the lower-ranged property tax millage rate folks in the, uh, areas in the, in the uh, South Georgia now, which is where we're at, to where you saw what would happen tonight, we would go to the max. What would that do for economic development? We couldn't bring it. That's going to be a real obstacle by bringing folks in. Much less, are we going to be able to keep everybody that we've got? Are we, wouldn't that be running folks away? I think so. I believe in straight talk. I might say something that might offend somebody tonight, and I apologize ahead of time. And please don't tell my mama because she'll still be on my family if she thought I said something over there. She talked, she raised me to say, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. But the guys asked me to get up here and talk, so I got to tell you some things. And that's not all positive, and I apologize about that. But I want to tell you, that we can do something. We can be better. I, I, I want to end this on a positive note, because I don't want to be all about no, no, no. We both have, both systems have issues. Dr. Smith mentioned it earlier, and I just want, I just want you to leave knowing this. Poverty and all the issues surrounding poverty is our number one enemy in public education. And it don't just reside in Lowndes County, folks. That's everywhere. How can we as a community better reach out to our parents, guardians, grandparents, single parents, 
particularly in that low socioeconomic status, the, the, the low income earners, the ones that's underemployed or unemployed. I'm asking you, that's where we need to put our energy. I, I love that these folks on the other side, I love that the other, these folks on the other side are talking about education. That's why I am not upset that we're here tonight debating, at least we are talking about our kids. Well, I love that. But let's realize that lumping us all together really does not accomplish any of our real issues where our problems is. Let's think about how can we get our churches, our civic groups, and yes, our business community engaged, helping us incentivize. How can we incentivize to give comp time, encourage those employees that are throughout our community to, to go to their children's schools, to be involved with extracurricular activities, to go to the teacher, to go to the reading, class. Some of these parents need help, and not just with poverty. They need some coaching. They need some encouragement. They just need some simple instructions. They need a little help. And I, I just think, let's leave here with that in mind, that once we get through this debate, and I, and I want to say something. I graduated from this high school. I've already mentioned that. I was over in that English department, which is moved now, in D Wing, and I had an English teacher that I'll never forget. And she taught us over and over for a whole semester to question who we read, to question whether it was in the newspaper, whether it was in a magazine, whether it was the book that she had assigned us, whether it was the news report she had us listen to, Dan Rather or, or who Tom Brokaw, whoever it was that was given the evening news. She made us do our homework. She said, you have to know who is talking to you. Just don't take everything that's being, that you're reading and that you're hearing to be the truth. And I'm saying that to you tonight about what Fred Weatherington's telling you. Go home and do your thing. That we presented as fact is the best of our ability. What we brought to you tonight is the truth. But do your own part. Go home and challenge us. Whether you're on one side or the other, I say go home, do your homework, and decide. And then get out and get involved. Because I'm telling you, this vote on November 8th is extremely important. So get involved. Talk to folks. Talk to the businesses where you work. Talk to the businesses that you trade with, that you do business at. They have to understand funding and education is not like a business. It's not a business model. It's not like two businesses merging. I'm telling you, I, I, I raised my hand a while ago. I'm telling you, I was one of the guilty ones. The theory that was proposed to me several years ago was very interesting. Can we improve student achievement at a lower cost and help economic development all at the same time? That was very interesting to me. That's not where the facts have led me. That's not, that's just not there. I don't see it. I'll leave you with that challenge. I ask you to please remember that uh, I have, you know, just like a lot of you, I have family on both sides. There's a lot of emotion, and I'm, I can be real guilty of being too passionate, and I get in trouble about that sometimes. I love this community. I'm from Hay Hire. Hay Hire is home. But like I said, I have been raised with my lost cousins all my life. We are very fortunate. I served seven years. I've been all over the country, and, and I've all been in several states, and then I served abroad. This is a great place to be from. We have a lot to be proud of. Yes, we can do better, but the consolidating of the two school systems does not accomplish. It causes more problems. I, I, I just think we can do better, but let's focus on the real problem. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good evening.